Like many of you, Naughty Dog's The Last of Us has had a huge impact on me, and I've recently started working on a fan art project to try and capture the beauty of this post-apocalyptic world. So in this video, I'll be showing you how a scene with relatively few details can be elevated with the plugin Dash. So sit tight, and let's jump right into it. So I've built this relatively simple scene layout using some assets from Bridge, the trees from the Marketplace, and the main wall up front was made in Moto. I already had a good idea of what the camera fly-through would be like, and so I also did that early on, leaving me with nothing but the detail layering process ahead. If you haven't already watched our Introducing Dash video, I highly recommend you check that out first, as we go into the basics of Dash in just a few minutes. But to start out with this scene, I'm first going to add a layer of detail with some vegetation. So I'll go ahead and open up the content library and search for a fern. And then I'm going to drag the object onto the viewport, being sure to hold down control before I let go of the mouse button. And this will open up a contextual menu. And in this case, I'm just going to choose the scatter here option and then start adjusting parameters accordingly. Now I don't want to have ferns everywhere in this scene. So what I'll do now is select my barricade asset along with a few other assets and then click on this icon right here to ensure that the ferns only stay near those objects. We call this proximity masking, and it's an incredibly fun and flexible process to play with to keep scatter instances within a specific range of certain objects. What makes Dash so helpful is that every unneeded complexity has been mitigated away, which allows me to work in a full screen mode for the majority of my art pass. That way I can pay more attention to my creative process and less on any sort of technical input that draws me out of my zone. When detailing a scene, it's very important to think in terms of layers. We had our foundation with the trees and roadblocks, then scattered some ferns and some smaller plants, and then we went all the way down to pebbles. In this scene, I even had a separate scatter instance for smaller ferns, so that way I had total control over their scale and distribution separate from the larger ones I first laid down. Combining this with a solid folder of reference images is a growth hack you want to keep in mind when trying to make better worlds. Alright, next I want to use some decals to break up the flat surfaces on the walls, concrete blocks, and the ground. If you've never used decals before, you can think of them as an image that's projected onto anything it touches. Unfortunately, Unreal Engine's decal workflow is quite outdated and fairly cumbersome, which is something we fixed in Dash. For example, I wanted to add a couple of leakage decals on the wall, which is quite trivial. We just need to go to the Dash content library, search for leaks, then drag and drop it onto the wall. The first thing you'll notice is that it got projected, oriented, and placed right away, and from there we can move, rotate, scale, or change its depth in order to get the right placement. This tool is fairly shortcut heavy, and the floating panel we double clicked earlier shows you a bunch of useful controls you need to know about, but overall it's quite simple. Hold the left mouse button and move your mouse around to move the decal, hold control while doing so to scale it, or shift to rotate it. For leakage, horizontal and vertical scale is quite important, and you can hold control and the right mouse button, then move your mouse up and down or left and right to scale it in those directions. And if you find yourself fighting with the depth of a decal, Control shift left mouse drag will scale it up or down in depth. Using this dynamic tool, I'll go ahead and start placing decals all over my scene. From graffiti to signals, leakages to cracks and damage, decals are the unsung hero of a beautiful environment, and we worked really hard to make them fun to use within Dash. But there's another way to distribute decals beyond what we've covered so far, and that's to scatter them. To do this, just drag one or multiple decals from the content library onto an object in your scene, and be sure to hold control before dropping them. Then just pick the right scatter method, and you'll see them quickly propagate across your scene. Unlike regular meshes, decals can't be instanced, so be careful not to go too crazy with their count, as it can negatively impact your performance. For this scene, however, I didn't need too many, so I tried to find the areas where they would have the greatest impact, adjust their material parameters, and I quickly got the look and feel I wanted. And to wrap things up, 
I found this great looking battle rifle on Sketchfab to add a bit of extra story and history to the scene. You can find a link to this free Sketchfab asset in the description below. And just like that, we've taken a fairly empty scene and took it to the next level by leveraging the powerful and easy to use tools in Dash. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed building it. Our hope with Dash is to help everyone create environments that they can feel truly proud of, and we cannot wait to see what you create with it. Our Discord is always open, and we invite you to join us and share the art you create with the Dash community. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.